The first thing you want to know is the basic form of the equation of a sphere, the standard form. And it's this form here. It's x minus h, the quantity squared, plus y minus k, the quantity squared, plus z minus j, the quantity squared, equals the radius of the sphere squared. Now, you probably recognize this formula if you know the equation of a circle. We're just eliminating this last term right here. So the center of the equation of a circle is just x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals the radius squared. But now we're working with the sphere, which is kind of like a circle in three dimensions. You know, you know, a sphere basically, you know, you have a point here, and then uh, any direction you go, it's going to be the same distance to the outer edge of that sphere, okay? So that's the idea. Now the thing that students sometimes make a mistake with is that when you're looking at this equation of the sphere, that these quantities here in parentheses, the h, k, and j, the center of the sphere, they're going to actually have the opposite sign. So like, for example, if I had a sphere that looked like this, x minus 1 squared plus y plus 4 squared plus z minus uh, 10 squared equals, let's just say it was uh, 49. See here, the center would actually be a positive 1, negative 4, positive 10. Right? So it has that opposite sign because it's x minus h, y minus k. And then the radius, you want to make sure that you're taking the square root, okay, because this is the radius squared, to find the radius. Some students mistakenly will square this quantity, so you don't want to make that mistake. So let's look at two uh, basic examples. The first one, say for example we want to find the equation of a sphere with radius 3 and center at negative 2, 1, 4. Okay, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to say x minus negative 2 squared right, plus y minus 1, the quantity squared, plus z minus 4, the quantity squared, equals the radius squared. Now if I simplify a little bit, see when you subtract, that's like adding the opposite. So we can really write this as x plus 2 squared, plus y minus 1 squared, plus z minus 4 squared, equals 3 squared, which is 3 times 3, 9. And you've got it. So let's look at one more example. Here they're going to give you the equation of the sphere. So say for example here, x plus 3 squared plus y squared plus z minus 7, the quantity squared equals 100. Okay, we have to identify the center and then the radius. So here you can see the center is actually going to be at not positive 3, but negative 3. Okay, in this case we just have y squared, so that means the y coordinate of the center of the sphere is going to be at 0. Okay, because this is like y minus 0 or y plus 0. And then here we've got z minus 7, so it's not negative 7, but the opposite, positive 7. So that's our x, y, and z coordinate of the center of our sphere. And then the radius, okay, this is r squared, remember. So we have to take the square root, okay, to solve for r. And you can say in this case it's going to be a radius of 10, and you've got it. So just a quick video reviewing how to work with the equation of a sphere. Subscribe to the channel, check out more math tutoring videos on my YouTube channel, Mario's Math Tutoring, and I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.